Hi guys, it's Dr. Sandra Lee here. You guys also know me as Dr. Pimple Popper. I'm here to show you some behind the scenes of some of my favorite videos. And this one is probably definitely in my top five. It might even be my number one favorite video. This guy has two big dilated pores of whiner. A dilated pore is essentially just a giant blackhead. And imagine a blackhead that gets trapped under the skin and more debris and dirt and skin cells get trapped in the skin and it really kind of causes the skin to stretch open. So now you have a pore that is quite enlarged and it easily fills with dirt and debris and that's why you get a giant blackhead in there. Goodness. This little friend of yours. I think you're gonna lose a little weight today. It's like a rock. You see that they leave a dilated kind of hole that will shrink down. Um, but really the only way that you can remove this sort of dilated opening on your skin is to excise the edges and refresh the wounds and be able to close it. I think to a lot of us popaholics, this is particularly satisfying and quite amazing because to have something just pull out of, it's as if a little pebble or a little rock has been tucked under your skin. And you can see how dry and desiccated this is because it is rock hard. It's like, literally like a little rock. You might have the award for the biggest blackheads. <laughs> My goodness. You're gonna actually, your clothes are gonna fit you better now. This thing is like a hump on your back. This is like hard. This is a cyst that I remove on the back, but the difference is is that the cyst is removed via a punch biopsy tool. Now, this is a tool that we use in dermatology often and not usually for this reason, but most commonly to remove skin uh, that we want to take a biopsy of. We want to examine the tissue and, and find out what the diagnosis is, whatever the skin condition is that this person comes in to see us for. Runaway cysts. Right. A punch biopsy tool is like a little cookie cutter or a little apple core, and it allows you to get a deeper uh, specimen under the skin, not just the surface of the skin, but a little bit deeper, like maybe up down to the subcutaneous space. Mm. Nice little sack wall kind of thing. Yeah, mm, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> So in this instance, I use a punch biopsy tool to make the initial excision in the skin for a uh, removal of a cyst. This allows me to get down to that level where that cyst is, which is usually 
in this subcutaneous space or under all those uh, more superficial layers of the skin. And uh, I know in this sort of instance that I'm going to squeeze the cyst out. I'm gonna break that sac wall of that epidermoid cyst and squeeze it out. And I'm trying to leave a smaller incision or a smaller opening. Epidermoid cysts are benign growths, meaning they are not life-threatening in any way, but they don't really go away unless you remove the entire cyst and the sac wall. So in this case, we remove a, a cyst on this gentleman's back, uh, put a few stitches in there afterwards, and he's good to go. So thank you for watching.